Underground tunnel at DB4 Nguyễn Tri Phương intersection must be completed on October the 29th. Startup conference hatch fair the fifth kickoff in Dana. Award ceremony for a Dana Fantastic City contest. Hello, welcome back to the RT News. On October the 7th afternoon, Chairman of the City People's Committee, Hun Duk Thơ, carried out an on-site inspection of the construction progress of the underground tunnel at the intersection of Điện Binh Phụ and Nguyễn Tri Phương Street for the APAC Economic Leaders Week. Currently, the construction is in the sprint phase with about 140 engineers and workers on the construction site from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Chairman Hun Duk Thơ requested the construction unit to send more workers working in trade shifts, at the same time making specific plans for dealing with bad weather conditions badly affecting the construction progress. The chairman asked the units to pay focus on strict management with the aim of ensuring the completion on the set schedule of October the 29th before the rehearsal taking place on October the 30th in preparation for the APAC Economic Leaders Week. On October the 7th, in Danang took place the start of conference Hatch Fair the 5th. This year marks the fifth time this conference has been held in Vietnam and the first time it has been held in Danang. Hatch Fair the 5th is a large-scale technology startup conference and exhibition gathering hundreds of companies and startup support organizations from more than 20 countries. The event served as a good chance for representatives from the startups to meet and exchange with investors, business leaders, investment funds, startup support organizations at home and abroad. Particularly at the conference taking place in Da Nang, over 50 speakers, entrepreneurs and startup founders discussed then shared the hot issues, set up specific action plan to build and promote the startup ecosystem in Da Nang. In addition to the main activities, a series of startup competitions were also organized. 30 companies took part in the competitions to win prizes including cash and non-share investment capital from the organizers and sponsors. According to data from the Department of Planning and Investment, in the first nine months of this year, the Da Nang industrial production grew significantly. In particular, the industrial production value in nine months was estimated at more than 36 trillion dollars, up by 10.8% over the same period of last year, while the industrial development index rose by 10.1%. Some key manufacturing sectors have maintained good growth since the middle of the second quarter, such as non-alcoholic beverages, textile and garments, iron and steel production, electronics, electrical equipment production, machinery and equipment production, milk processing and dairy products. The product experiencing a low increase were rubber tires and tubes, concrete and cement products, metal components, beer, sport equipment and children's toys. Such industries as footwear and paper production saw a decline due to unfavorable market conditions and have not been recovered yet. However, these industries account for only a small proportion of the overall urban industry, so the impact is negligible. In the first nine months of 2017, the number of tourists traveling by air to Da Nang reached over 1,170,000, more than two times higher than that of the same period last year. Besides, the number of international tourists travel by road from Thailand and Laos to Da Nang reached 11,670. In the first nine months of 2017, Dana welcomed 45 cruise ships docking at Ding Support with over 52,400 visitors, up by 24.5% over the same period of 2016. Most of cruise passengers choose tours around Da Nang and to Hoi An and Sintel. It is worth noting that there were many cruise ships staying overnight in the city. Reportedly, recently sea travel has made great progress. The number of cruise ships arriving at Da Nang Port had increased rapidly over recent years, with an average increase of 22% in the number of cruise passengers to Da Nang each year. 
The city's total budget revenue in the first nine months of 2017 was estimated at nearly 17,200 billion dollars, accounting for 82.3 percent of the estimates, of which export-import tax reached over 2,400 billion dollars, fulfilling 87 percent of the yearly estimates. According to the Danang Custom Department, as of September the 30th, the whole sector collected more than 2,400 billion dollars from export-import tax, accounting for 87. Percent of revenue estimates in 2017. In particular, the revenue from export tax reached nearly $90 billion, exceeding 28% of the estimates. The revenue from import tax was at more than $590 billion, accounting for 96% of the estimates while the special consumption tax collection was at nearly $95 billion, million, representing 23% of the city's estimates, and the budget collection from value-added tax were at more than $1,647 billion, reaching 97% of the estimates. The above results are thanks to the effective solutions for facilitating enterprises to join in export-import activities, which have been launched by the city's custom department over the recent years. From July the 1st, 2017, the People's Committee of Haizhou District, Danang City, has commenced the pilot smart parking model, paying car park fees by mobile app on Badang Street. So far, they're having over 700 subscribers. The smart parking model on Baekdang Street is one of the items in the project improving the urban traffic of Dalang City, funded by Toyota Mobility Foundation with the aim of gradually modernizing the infrastructure. Accordingly, the entire route will be divided into eight parking areas with about 140 spaces, indicated from BD01 to BD07 and HC01. In the first stage from July the 1st to the end of 2017, Vehicle's owner will be free of charge by paying by cards with available balance in the account. After three months of free operation, there have been over 700 accounts signed up for a smart parking app. In order to early inform owners of vehicles about their violations caught through automatic camera system, recently the traffic police force has posted the number plates of violating vehicles on the city's police department's website. This helps the convictees make active payment using the procedures at Motor Vehicle Accreditation Center. According to statistics of Dana Moto Vehicle Registration Center, since the beginning of the year, the unit has received the list of nearly 7,000 vehicles committed traffic infringement offenses. In particular, the center has refused to accreditate about 20% of vehicles that have not fulfilled penalty payment obligation. Most of the remaining cases have made initiative to pay fine before accreditation. The disclosure of information on violating traffic vehicles in Da Nang has been helping the owners to actively pay the penalty and complete accreditating vehicles, avoiding long travel and the possibility of increased fine due to overdue fine and late accreditation. Da Nang is the second locality nationwide having a website to help vehicle owners check traffic violations. Currently, there are more than 100 business households in the coastal area of Sunjia Peninsula and on top of Haivan Pass. These households have regularly welcomed domestic and foreign tourists. Therefore, from September the 20th to October the 10th, the city's Department of Tourism helped training courses on responsible tourism communication skills and behaviors toward tourists for households providing services on Sunjia Peninsula and Haivan Pass. They were also provided with knowledge of understanding customer psychology and handling common situations when serving tourists. The training course were aimed at improving the quality of services at tourist sites. There was also one of the activities in response to the Da Nang Smile campaign with a message, join in hands to make Da Nang a civilized, friendly and hospitable city. The Danang Department of Tourism has just organized the award ceremony for the Travel Experience Contest theme, Danang Fantastic City. 
The Dana of Fantastic CD contest, taking place from July the 5th to October the 8th, 2017, attracted over 300 entries with more than 3,000 photos and clips of participants all over the country, giving a new overview on the beautiful and dynamic city with very friendly and hospitable people. According to the organizers, this year's contest is considered as a breakthrough in the way to promote Danang among the tourism lovers. Photographs and clips of the contestants will become the typical images serving the work of promoting Danang tourism in the domestic and international markets, as well as at the major events at national and municipal levels taking place in the city. At the award ceremony, the organizer granted prizes to the best teams. In particular, the first prize was $100 million including $600 million in cash and a tour to South Korea was granted to the Team 3 Idiots. In addition, there are also one prize worth $30 million for the most impressive team and another prize worth $20 million granted to the most favorite team. The Kake Education Institution, in collaboration with the Embassy of Japan in Vietnam, the Da Nang's Department of Foreign Affairs and the Sakura Foreign Language Center, held the final round for the 7th Kake Gaku and Speech Contest. With the thief, if only one wish came true, the contestants have to present their eloquences for five minutes. The best candidate will receive a return ticket to Japan to enter the grand final round. This contest is held by Kake, which is the second biggest educational institution in Japan, and held in all countries having Kake representative offices. Participants should be high school students or those studying Japanese at schools and centers, living in Japan for less than one year having no Japanese nationality and have not won first prize at any previous eloquence contest. The contest is aimed at giving a chance for Japanese learners to improve their understanding of Japanese language and culture, thereby tightening the friendship and cooperative relations between Japan and the host country. That's all we have for today's news. Please log on to drt.danak.vn for more news and updates. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.